Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and this is your AMRAMP. We have four blocks of work, five minutes to complete as many rounds as possible. You'll see four exercises, eight reps for each move. There'll be a 45 second break in between each block, enough for you to recover, get some water, and then come back for the next four exercises. This is compound moves, so we're going to be doing arms and legs at the same time. That helps to rev up the metabolism so that you're burning fat and building muscle. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workout. We're going to warm it up, so roll the shoulders back. I want you to have a sumo squat today, so it's toes out, heels in. You're going to sweep it down and sweep it up. When you're sweeping down, keep your eyes lifted. Reach through the fingers all the way through this range of motion. Drop that butt at least to knee height. We're gonna do a little hamstring curl, opening up the chest. Now remember, in this AMRAMP, it's not about going fast. I want you to get through those eight reps and then think about your intensity with the weights so that when you come back the next time, maybe you go a little heavier or maybe you add on another round. We're gonna kick and then march. And I was just telling these guys, it's a really hot day where we are. Putting a little bit of Himalayan salt in your water can help with electrolytes. And it makes your water just taste a little bit more clean. All right, you're gonna lunge, take the hand down, rotate, and then come up and switch. So just take your time. The runner's lunge with a twist. So sink in the hips, and then open up the chest. How's your body feeling today? Are you ready for this? We've done AMRAMP before. All right, sumo, just stay. Press the knees out. All right, kind of move a little bit here. And then make it a shifting lateral lunge. So we're gonna go a little wider with the legs, shift over to the right and the left. Hips can be a place where we hold a lot of tightness and tension. So straddle, bring it up, and arm circles to the back. Now I want your core to be turned on and go a little faster. And let's finish off with a little jog, jog or march. Light on the feet. All right, set that posture, set that intention. It's gonna be an awesome workout. Lots of compound moves. All right, we're gonna be starting off with a step out squat. We're gonna be stepping out, so we want a moderate. So it's sumo, step in, and an upright row. So I'm gonna be going into my 12. Mm, I think I'm gonna do 15, but I always have my 12s nearby. Reminder, everything is eight repetitions. You do not need to go at my pace or I don't need to go at your pace. You're gonna step out sumo. Step in, upright, other side. So you have to stay a little focused. You need to do some counting today. Lunge back, forward, raise. You pick your weight. We got eight reps. That was just two. And when you have a moderate load, your core is gonna work a lot more. Renegade row. You can stand up and row, alternate, pull the weight to your hip. Diane's got a great option.
no weight. You have a squat jack. You squat first, then open up. All right, back at the top. Move at your pace. Sumo, upright. Dropping that butt to knee height. I use my glutes to help bring that weight up into that upright row. Whew. Lunging. You can always alternate the forward raise. And you're gonna notice your heart rate stays elevated because these are compound moves. We work a lot of stuff here. Getting ready for those rows. I'm gonna go for 12. Whew. I'm gonna open up my feet, pull the weight to the hip. And keep track of your rounds too. So if you have a piece of paper next to you, maybe you keep track. We're coming to the bottom of our second round. We're halfway through this, five minutes. Whew. All right, we're trying to get two more rounds out of it. Let's go. Long spine. We're gonna be breathing heavy today. Once you find that right weight, right, you should be able to motor from one movement to the next. Bend both knees in your lunges. Woo. I'm doing 12 for my rows. All over with the weights. A little bit of everything is right. Always. Come on, elbow pulls it back. Whew. Keep it moving. Make sure you squat first and then come into that jack. Time for one more round. We have about one minute to go. Maybe you get a little lower. All right. Woo. Keep it moving. All right. You do your best. Just a little bit of extra every more, every day. The little things, they add up. Good and bad, right? Remember that. So even when you say, oh, I only have it every day, once a day for a little bit. Guess what? Even that bad stuff adds up. Hips open. Eight seconds. Then we have a 45 second break. Woo. All right, take your break. Man, I wanted to get those jacks in. But, all right, I'm gonna take my 45 second break. We're gonna be starting off with a skull crusher march. Hmm. I'm gonna do 12. All right, we got about 25 seconds. Woo. So I'm gonna do this direction here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So my hips are up, I press, I keep the hips lifted and all I'm doing is skull crushing and marching. So a total of 12, that's one, two, and then sit up, press. All right, we do eight. Try to keep that same weight if you can. Woo, here we go. Kick back, overhead extensions, kicking the leg up. Now 
Remember it's eight. Sit up press is the next one. Chest and shoulder here. Core. Plank. Kick back. So either on your knees or on your toes, one arm is gonna kick back for four. You can be on your knees. And then you do the other side. Four. We have a burpee. So hop the feet forward, curl it up, press it up. You have eight. When you curl, eyes up, butt down. This one's gonna take a little longer. Back into that skull crusher. Whew. Here we go. March it. Trying to stay. That's what I'm trying to stay with the same weight. So I have 12. I might have to drop to 10. Whew. Unless we get a big breeze, then I'll cool off. Roll up. Roll down. Come on. Remember, it's eight reps. We can do moderate. Come on, Michelle. Whew. Plank kickbacks. Four on the right, four on the left. This one you're gonna see everybody kind of get to their own time here. Oh yeah. This one's a tough one. What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> Halfway through. Come on. I'm gonna stay with my 12 though. I'm gonna make myself work hard. You can always lunge it. You don't want a burpee. Pressures. Ooh. Now I'm pushing. How about you? All right, here comes that press. How are we doing back here? My arms are on fire. This is very arm focused here on this block. All right, get in that position, double by your ribs. All right, burpees. Oh my gosh. Remember, if you need a break, you take it. You don't hit pause though. Right, you're trying to get as many rounds as possible here. And that burpee, bend the knees. Drop your hips. Those hips need to be loose. Forty seconds to go. Come on. And you have that break. Looking great, guys. Keep track too, what weights you used. In case you need to go heavier next time. Gosh, my triceps. Three, two, break. All right, nice job. Block two is done. We're getting ready for bend over fly. Squat jumps with one dumbbell. Push up knee drive, and then an alternating deadlift. 
So we're gonna keep dumbbells in the hands. Remember for the squat jump, if you don't wanna have weight, don't use any weight. It's just eight, remember it's eight. Ooh. So when we do those alternating deadlifts, right? We do one leg, then we do the other. If your balance is a little off, do a kickstand. Maybe do four on one and then kickstand on the other side. So let's start with a bent over fly. I'm gonna do 10, eight. Bringing the weight to about shoulder height here. Your chest is down about 45 degree angle. One dumbbell, squat jump. You don't have to jump. Push up, knee drive. I'll be here, I'll be here. Whew. Push up, knee. So we get some core. You can always just stay with push-ups. We got those deadlifts. Alternate them. Total of eight. You come up tall. Tip forward. And a long spine. I'm using my 15s at this point. Back to the fly. All right. Set that intention. And again, modern's going to make more core activated. Build more muscle. Not make you bulky though. What happens sometimes when you start to lift more weights, you do get more hungry. You definitely need to eat more protein. Feed that body. But make sure you're getting enough water. All right, we got those push-ups. Really draw the knee in towards your nose. Super job. Pick up those weights by bending those knees, right? Be careful. How low do you go in a deadlift? Just below the knee is perfectly fine. If you can get a little lower with a flat back, go for it. But remember what I said, if your balance is a little off, kicks down on the right for four, and then left. Woo. Yeah, fly. You doing okay, everybody? We're over halfway. Come on, long spine. Jumping squat. Push up. Whew. Ooh, these are tough, right? Pull that knee to your head, and your chin, your forehead. Come on, we got a minute 15 to go here. Ooh, fly. I forgot deadlifts. Woo, did you forget them too? Yeah. I'll throw them in. But for you guys, those of you that stayed on track, right? But all the exercises are right there on the screen so you don't forget. We do have it in front of us, but sometimes you just get lost in the movement. 
All right, now I'm gonna squat jump. Woo! We got 30 seconds, gang. Squat and then come up. Ooh, the best part, the push-ups. Ooh! Perfectly fine to get to those knees. Oh, all right, you guys. Block three is done. It's a quick transition into block four. I'm gonna show you what I'm using my bench for. It's a curl press. They're gonna do a forward lunge and press. Somebody behind me show them what you're gonna do. So, as I step forward or step up, I curl, then press, and I step back, and then switch. Curl, press, watch your ceiling, if you have a low ceiling. That is number three. So we're gonna start with a squat, heavy weight, front loaded, alternating the knees. Does everybody got their breath? Five seconds, squat right knee, front load, squat right, that's one, two. If you can step up on something, it's gonna make it harder. But we only have one bench here, so I get it. Overhead extensions, one or two dumbbells standing or knees. Eight, your choice, I'm gonna go here. Forward lunges, OMG. Okay, we curl, you press, alternate. That's number two. This one takes a little longer, a little thought. You can balance when you step up or step forward, pull the knee in. You could do a lunge back. That's totally fine. Oh, I was doing too many. Woo. Shoulder tap. We're gonna come in plank. Option, just tap or jack the feet. Eight. Then back to the top. Heavy. Squat, knee. Front load. Ooh, come on. We should try to get three rounds out of this one. Overhead, I'm gonna kneel because it makes it harder. Eight. Oh yeah, we're hot here. Yeah. Now, here come the lunges. Make that choice, right? You can do back, you can do forward. I don't wanna have my butt in your face, right? <laughs> Whew. Total of eight. And sometimes when you go through the workout for the first time, you might be lighter to get a feel for it and come back. You could do this workout twice this week. You could do it Monday. You could do it Friday. This week we do have an AMRAP cardio. Woo! All right. Shoulder taps. With that jack or not. Come on, third round. Two minutes. We should be able to get through another round and more. Knee up. Overhead. Whew. My guys, behind me. Listen to your body. It's a little hot here. So if you need a break, take it. Whew. Get 
is a really sweaty one today. Do your best. We have about one minute to go. Good job, you guys. Whew. We're doing okay, though. Everybody still with me? Yeah. Oh. Shoulder taps. Oh. You need to do. Oh. oh my gosh, 20 seconds. Come on, come on. Let's go, girls. Come on, guys. I'm at the top of the fourth. Good to finish with some leg. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, breather. Catch your breath. We're gonna do a two minute core. So just like the last AMRAP that we did, it's eight moves. Oh my gosh. You did awesome. Do you feel like us? Comment below, right? Woo. Two minutes. I'm breathing heavy. How about you? Oh, happy birthday, Diane. Yeah, everybody, happy birthday, Diane. One set. Remember, eight and eight. Come on your back. You Look at the ceiling. <laughs> Happy birthday, Diane. It's everybody's birthday you around here. We got lots of birthdays. Know. You can tell me when your birthday is. Two minutes. You're gonna give me leg drop for eight. And then you're gonna turn around and rainbow hips. Woo. I'm on my back, how about you? Are you on your back? Sing double leg or single leg? Leg down, hip lift. You got eight of these. Here's your option, single leg. Four. When the rain hits hard on my window, when the night's too dark, you'll be here. We flip it into four arms and it's rainbows. Drop the hip to the front and the back. You got a total of eight. That's one, two. Don't go crazy with the speed here. <laughs> You don't need to try to catch, you don't need to catch up with anybody, right? Count your, count your rounds. Hey, remember when you were a kid and you were in PE and they did the leg throw down thing for your core? Remember that? You didn't do that in PE? You partnered up, you held onto somebody's ankles. That's how I want you to feel when you do your leg drop. Right, like you use a little momentum. You didn't like those, Catherine? Well, I remember being at peak and doing this one time, and my partner had a skirt on. I was like, what in the heck? I kept my eyes focused forward. You know those guys, they'd be looking up. All right, do your best. 22 seconds to go. See, when I tell stories, it goes by a lot faster. 10 seconds. Woo! All right, you guys, just, just lay here for a minute. You got a bathing suit based on your size. Isn't that terrible? You got a bathing suit based on your size? The oh, you had a color. So that everybody knew your size. Oh. Well, I tell you nowadays, nobody would get away with that, would they? <laughs> Woo. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, the size Okay, we're gonna just do a quick stretch to get you out of here. Let's do quad stretch, because we use those quads a lot. So if you wanna pull heel to your butt, you can either turn onto your side or kind of roll onto that foot. And we talk about flexibility, how we're healed. It's really important, you guys. You know, we do need to take time out of the day, not just in the workout, but even in the day. Like if you're sitting watching some Netflix or Amazon Prime, go to your floor. Ooh. The flexibility is gonna help you get a bigger range of motion when you're doing your workouts. And it helps you with your joints, your tendons, your ligaments, all that stuff. Yeah, see if you can work your way back. If you're doing this at home, another great support is a pillow in the low back. So if you got some back issues, a yoga block is great, a yoga bolster. Ooh. So what happens is that your foot goes further. I see Catherine's foot sometimes goes further away from the hip. Eventually you want to get that foot almost underneath or right next to your hip. So that's a way that your body is talking to you, right? Your body talks to you all the time. All right, let's switch the leg. We just do this, right? We just turn it off. We're like, no, I'm okay. I'm just gonna power through it. But powering through something can set you back further. And then this is what you're gonna say, I know. All right, so take those breaks. I know that I listen to my body. There's times when I do have to take it down. I'm not 35 anymore. I might look like it. <laughs> Here's the key, ladies. This is how you stay young. You marry an older man. <laughs> see, see what I did? You didn't know that? Oh, my husband says it all the time. She looks so young because I look so old. He doesn't look that old. Oh, and you surround yourself with that great energy. You keep them going. Yeah, and having young kids makes a difference. Ooh. All right, we're gonna do hamstring. We're just gonna do this last stretch here. You can do figure four or straight leg. I'm gonna do figure four because my hips tend to get tight. And I'm gonna tell you guys, if you're home alone and you're doing your workouts and you're missing that connection, I'm grateful that you're here with us, but you need to reach out to a friend. You need to do, you know, meet up at a park, meet up on your driveway. Hey, if you do, share it with me, I'd love to see it. Share it on my Instagram. One more big hug and switch. And I'm all about efficiency and effectiveness. I think when you're teaching group fitness for so long, you learn how to do that. And then, and then you learn how to be a people player. Like you wanna make sure everybody's happy. You wanna make sure you guys are happy. Always comment what you wanna to see too. Release, oh, and then just a little Shavasana. I know Catherine and I were doing some yoga together. It's just like, this is, did you say you don't like Shavasana? Her least favorite pose, but this is the, yeah, you gotta learn to, not that you have to love it, embrace what it gives back to you. So, so a big inhale through the nose, and then I want you to hold on to that breath. And then out through the mouth. We have a special request for happy baby. This is where you wanna make sure you're not looking at your partner. You hug the knees into the chest. You can grab inside or outside the foot. Open the legs a little wide. And you can rock the hips a little side to side. Again, this is great for low back, for hips, inner thighs, ladies. We hold lots of tension here. You can pull those knees toward the ground. Oh, that was a good one, Catherine. So am I. Oh, we got a breeze. How about you? Then bring the knees in. Come onto your side and push yourself up. We're just gonna stay seated because oh, I don't feel like getting up yet. <laughs> Roll the shoulders back. And we are dripping sweat here. 
Thank you guys for joining us for the AMRAP. A big inhale. Ooh, now you know what it is. Pull it down through your heart. Oh my gosh, so grateful. Have an awesome day. We'll see you again on the mat. Woo, and again, check me out. Instagram, Facebook, those links are up around here. They're in the description below. Have a wonderful day. Oh, drink some water. Oh my gosh, yeah, look at the mat. Shh.